Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna do a crock pot recipe that I found on Pinterest. So, uh, let's see, who posted this? Uh, skinny recipes. So, lately I've been doing easy three ingredient, four ingredient, four ingredient recipes and I normally post it on my Snapchat for my friends and I thought maybe I should do a video so in case any of my friends want to go back and look at it, they can always find it on my channel. So, this one is a hearty, tasty chicken with stuffing. And this one calls for cream of chicken, chicken broth, um, chicken stuffing, and chicken breast. A lot of chicken going on. <laughs> so um, the first ingredient is asked for four skinless, boneless chicken breasts. So I did pick up some frozen chicken breasts. I don't know if it's a difference from frozen and regular, but we're just gonna do it that way. Oh, and a helpful hint. These are slow cooker liners. These are probably the best thing that someone ever invented um, because it makes cleanup super, super, super easy. So I'm gonna do three instead of four because um, my daughter's a little picky eater so she's probably not gonna want, she'll probably try it but not eat it, but this is for us. Then we're gonna do a cup of chicken broth. There's that. Then we're gonna add a can of cream of chicken soup. All right. Next is the box of stuffing. Of water all right it pretty much the directions is throw everything in there and then mix it together well it's kind of hard when your chickens frozen <laughs> so maybe the best thing to do is to have thought out chicken but and realistic, we always have frozen chicken. We never have like fresh chicken, um, just cause frozen chicken just is just more convenient for me and my family. All right, if I don't get a good mix, I'll just try again after it thaws out a bit. All right, um, pretty much cook everything. Let's see, I think it was for seven hours on low, but I don't have time for that. So <clears throat> I always look online to see a slow cooker conversion. Um, so for seven hours on low would be three hours on high. So um, I'd rather just do three hours on high. All right, so we'll cover that up and um, I'll come back after three hours and let's hope this comes out great. <laughs> so I'll be back. Okay, so I said I was gonna have this set for three hours, but I am gonna go ahead and do the low for seven hours because um, I am doing this earlier than I thought I was. So it would be perfect for around 5, 5.30 around dinner time. So yeah, so if you do want to cut it short, there's always a conversion table that you can find online to do that for you. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it for the seven hours. Um, so I'll still check in just so you guys can see uh, the progress of it and again, hopefully this comes out good. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, it's been seven hours. I have, I did mix it up a few times, um, but this is the final result. It looks saucy. Chicken looks cooked. Um, smells delicious. So let's hope for the best. <laughs> so let me get a plate. So I can try this out. Mm. 
Alright, let's turn that off. Alright, let's try this out. Cut nice and easy. You'll hear some background noise. My daughter's playing. Oh, that's good. Okay, so this is definitely a yes for me. I would definitely make this again. So yeah, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And thank you for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye.